Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to change your Dremel Idea Builder's nozzle. Alright, so there's several different reasons you might want to change out your nozzle. They do get old over time and gunked up and start to degrade. Um, or, like what I'm doing, it's, I want to try to start using some of the more exotic filaments, like the different metals and things like that. Um, wood filaments, another one. So I'm upgrading to this micro Swiss nozzle. It's a, a hardened nozzle so that the filaments that are harsher on the nozzles won't erode through it as quickly. What you're going to want to do first is make sure that you don't have any filament loaded into your nozzle so you'll go through the regular steps of unloading your filament which I will show you here. And then when you're done with this you'll also want to make sure that your nozzle has cooled before working on it. It's a little bit hard to see, but I've shoved the wrench in between this block and the little plastic frame here. Then I'll come down here with my 3 8 socket. Okay, so now that you've got the nozzle, there's this little tube that's in it. You want to carefully remove that. And if there's any gunk in there, go ahead and clean that out because that's just how the filament feeds. Then grab your new nozzle. All right, so there was a small mix up on the nozzle they sent me. This is the correct nozzle that you want. It is the 0.4 millimeter. Um, I will have the link in the vi video description. Uh, I just got it off of Amazon. It was about 15 bucks. Here's that little tube that we had before that we took out of the nozzle. Um, mine has a little notch on it. So you know which way to put it back in. Slide that back in. Slide it back in. Go ahead and tighten it down. You again want to put that wrench in there to keep everything from spinning because this heater block tries to shift it around quite a bit. Alright, that's in there. Let's go ahead and put everything back together and we'll fire it up. Alright, now that you've got that nozzle back in place and all tightened up, make sure to put your bed in, do a bed leveling, and then add your filament and start printing. Alright guys, that's how to change out your nozzle on your Dremel Idea Builder. Um, since I did upgrade the nozzle, I'm going to start trying to do some of the more exotic filaments, like I want to do uh, some of the wood stuff, the rubber stuff. I've got some of the uh, rubber flexible filament, um, so I'm going to be trying that out. I've got a couple of ideas for that, so keep an eye out for those videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope it was helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. If you haven't already, subscribe. Like this video if you liked it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.